Babe, what have I done at all to deserve this treatment? Where are you living? Marcus, can't you see this is not working? It's obvious this marriage is not working. What is your problem? It's been 12 months since you lost your job. And you, you have not had any. But you know I have never relaxed. I've been going up and down searching for another job. I've sent my curriculum vitals to companies in the UK, companies in the United States of America, and so forth. And I know they will by all means call me. And so what? You think I care? You don't care. Look at my friends. Their husbands, they have money. They bought them cars, houses, everything. Just name it. Look at you have nothing to offer me. Absolutely nothing. And you think I will, I will be a fool? Like, ah, Jesus. Listen, when I got married to you, I wasn't like this. I wasn't broke like this. What happened? If you were not broke, what happened? Because I lost my job. Time will definitely change. Okay? Time will definitely change. You know what? I don't have time for this thing. I don't have time for this conversation we are talking about right now. So you are living? Yes, I am living. I need a guy who will spoil me with money. Buy me clothes, jewelries, wigs, expensive one at that. Not this poverty, stricken life you are living. I'm not caught up with all this. I'm not. Not at all. I cannot live this life. Fun with your poverty stinking life. Oh my God! God, I will never remember. Hey, Marcus, I've warned you never to call my number again. What is it again? I told you this marriage is over. I can't continue like this. What is it? Ah, uh, you can go ahead and find someone else. I'm not interested. I am not interested, Mr. Man. Ah! What? Is love by force? Is it by force? Please, don't ever call my number again. Please. The next time you call me again, you regret ever knowing me. I'm telling you. Is it normal? Ah, what's the meaning of this? I've warned him no, never to call me again. I don't know why he's disturbing me like that. So, you are talking to Marcus in this manner? What's wrong? Marcus is your husband. I've told you several times to respect him. What's the meaning of this? You, sometimes I don't even know what's wrong with you. Anyway, my guy is coming. Remember the guy I told you about, Nana? He will be here in two weeks' time. I don't want to have any difficulties in meeting him. That's why I don't want Marcus around me. He has promised to buy me a car. My friend, be a careful. Boutique. And a house as well. Be careful. Don't say I didn't want you. I'm your friend and I want the best for you. Spare me that. Kala. Seriously, I never believed Nana could do this to me. He never told me he had a wife. I told you. And he didn't give me any single proof to... Huh. Didn't I warn you? Men are scam. True. Mm. I warn you. I warn you. Have you seen what you've done? I warn you. So what, what do you want to do now? I don't know. I think I'll have to go back to Marcus and plead with him. Maybe he'll forgive me. Do you think he will forgive you? Come on, what's yours is always yours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, well, if you say so. Go and try and let's see, okay? What pains me the most is the promises he made me. He told me he would get me a boutique, a house, a car. And everything ready when he comes back to Ghana. And you believe him? I was so damn to believe him. In fact, that was the main reason why I left Marcus in the first place. You see? So this guy was deceiving me after all. 
I warned you. I warned you. But you did not listen to me. Now you see what you've cost. Girl, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. The best thing for me to do right now is to go back to my office and look for him. Hey. Fear me. Hmm. House and I was told you moved from there. Yeah. So someone actually gave me your um, new address, so I came to look for you. Okay. You are, you are welcome. And I was told mm. you've got your job back. Yes. I was called by the chief executive officer of the company, mm. and then through investigation, they realized that I was innocent of the fraud allegation leveled against me. So uh, they bought this house for me. They bought me a brand new Toyota Land Cruiser and then they made me a branch manager. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Marcus, I'm a changed person. Please, can you let bygones be bygones? Let's just start all over, please. I'm begging you. Uh, I have forgiven you for a long time. But to be frank with you, I'm engaged. Engaged. Yes. Hi, baby. Hello, Silas. Hey, baby. I'm tired. I've been waiting. Okay. So, like you see, I'm engaged. Do you see her? Hi. You are engaged? Yes, this. I'm engaged to her. Did you say this? Who is this? Are you talking to me? No, my hair. Is that this for me? Who is this? Are you mad or something? Hey, young lady, don't you, address me with what you just said, okay? Relax, babe, relax. Listen, I've not come here for you. I came here then for Then who did you come here for? This is my husband. <laughs> did you call Funny. me? Baby, wait. You said your husband. You go, digger. You said your husband. You left him whilst he's in need for you. You just left. And now you think he has something, so you want to come back. You go, the guy. You insane or something? He said he's engaged. As you can see, we are engaged. Marcus. Hey, he said he's too late. He has someone now. We are engaged. He's smiled. Marcus. Hey, young lady. When you are done with this, your drama, you can lock up the door and leave. Okay? Oh, better still. If you want to be employed as our maid, you can bring your CV. So we employed you. Thanks for watching my video. Please don't forget to subscribe and like. Bye.